Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to sew a roll up pencil case. I did this for my daughter as a handy dandy carry case for her artsy tools. You just uh, roll it and keep it close with the elastic. It's so easy for children, no need to tie a bow or anything. Let me show you the supplies you will need for this project. So you need three pieces of fabric. To measure 18 by 6.5 inches. And one piece of fusible interfacing in the same size. Then I'm choosing one of the pink pieces to be my outer fabric. Then the blue one will be the inner layer. And we'll use the second pink piece for the pocket. In order to create the pocket, you just need to fold the fabric in half lengthways and align it on the bottom side of the inner fabric. I will make a seam at the top of the pocket and add the fusible interfacing to the reverse of the outer layer using an iron. So this is the fabric with the interfacing. And the pocket after making the top seam. I will put the outer layer aside for the moment as I will not need it for this step. Fold the pocket piece in half and press with the fingers. Then unfold and use a pencil to mark the middle. Using the mark you made earlier as a guide, take a ruler and measure about 1 inch. Then make a mark at every inch on both sides of the middle line. If you think it's helpful, you can trace vertical lines. This can help you for the next step when you will need to do some sewing. Use a few pins to fix into place the pocket onto the inner layer and sew all the lines you traced earlier. This is how it should look like with all the tiny pockets for the pencils. The sides aren't sewn yet as they'll be fixed when assembling everything. Now I'm placing a few pencils into the pockets just to help me figure out how long my elastic needs to be. After rolling the case, I take my elastic and wrap it around it tightly. Hold it with one hand and slowly slide it off. So this is how big the elastic needs to be. Then 
and use a pin to fix the elastic to the inner fabric just like I'm showing you in the video. Then take the outer layer and place it on top of the inner layer, right sides together, align the two fabrics, and you will need to sew all around it leaving a gap for turning inside out. This is how it looks like after being sewn with the tiny gap on top. Trim the elastic and the corners. Now turn it inside out. Use your fingers to push out those corners. It looks a bit wrinkly now, but you will take uh, an iron to fix that and to press down all the seams. Then you will need to sew all around closing the gap. Well, that's it. You can uh, even use your scraps for this project and use your imagination to make it just the way you like it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll give it a go. If you liked this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. And I'll see you next time. Happy crafting!